again for uh, letting us uh, come in and uh, invade your space for a little bit here. <laughs> um, <coughs> we come to you tonight to um, not only present to you um, all the work that, that's been happening kind of behind the scenes with uh, Dr. Menard and, uh, and the staff, uh, but also to request us to make that approval in moving forward. Um, kind of there's a, a five phase step here. Um, schematic design is really um, one of those phases, but moving on to design development, construction documents, and then ultimately um, bidding to construction. Uh, so this is just kind of one, one step and a number of steps um, to, to continue to move the process forward. And with that, I'll turn it over to Mark, and um, we'll kind of go through the, the building plan and I'll show some uh, graphics at the end. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you would, you might introduce yourselves too, because sure. make sure we know who everybody is. Yeah. Um, I'm Rob Collins with DLR Group. I'm Eric with DLR Group. Uh, Mark Brent, DLR Group. And Tom Benny, DLR Group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> some of this will be familiar. Uh, the plans, we've, we've made some refinements, uh, and we'll go through those fairly quickly. Uh, we actually switched things around a little bit and thought we'd, whoops. <coughs> thought we'd show you some of the exterior look. We've developed a, there we go. We developed a 3D model of, of uh, the project so you kind of get your, your uh, bearings on what is what and, and what, what it may look like. So if you look at the model here, this is the, the cafeteria space. It's the infill between the 84 building and the 55 building. And, we, <coughs> and, and when you see the plans, we simplified that uh, significantly from the last time you've seen it. And what we're trying to do here is develop some prominence there that this <coughs> is the ident identifiable front door, the main entrance to the school. As you see, you're spanning a couple of city blocks there, and it, it can be uh, uh, kind of irritating if you can't find the front door uh, of the building. So we're, we're making, we're developing this as the front door. This is the administrative suite right next door to it. So when you come into the building, you got a controlled entrance. I shouldn't say suite, but administrative office. <laughs> yeah. um, that, so so we have good security, good control of access during the day when when school's in session. And we're trying to uh, bring in some of the lines that are, are in the building now. You've got sloped roofs around the 84 building, so we've got some lines here over the cafeteria that actually extends all the way through the cafeteria and then encompasses or swallows up the library, which is on the second floor, so there's uh, a continuous line all the way through the building. And then we're mirroring those same lines uh, in the what is the east edition, uh, the classroom edition, and, and those lines represent where the link is between the 84 building and, and the new addition. And that actually goes up and creates a, a mezzanine for mechanical equipment. So it's all uh, functional and purposeful there. As, as you go across this, uh, the north side here, where we've got you know, the majority of the parking and, and public access, uh, we, we have some identifiers. This right here on the building will say Boone High School. So that is the high school entrance. And that's also, there's a, there's a lot of daylight here on the north side, the preferred natural light that we'd like to capture for the building. Uh, there's a lot of transparency there looking into the cafeteria as well as letting natural light into the cafeteria. So that is a place of activity. Yeah, this is to show uh, that, that uh, this is a, an active and, and uh, exciting energetic place. Then over on the east side, uh, the closest part of the building to the street is, is a low scale. It's the same height as what you see along here on, on the 80, 86 edition. It's also the same material. It's precast. And, and that, that plane there is a continuation of, of what's currently there. And it's also a, a placeholder for another identifier where it could say Boone Public Schools so that people know that this is, this is a community uh, school facility and that as you if you can remember that is also where the district administration office is and so it's a 
it, it's, it's not as open and, and inviting, but it's also an ident identifier that this is an entry point for the district administration. And then as you work your way back from the from the street, it, 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 it bumps up to a two-story level uh, for the classroom area so that we can preserve as many trees on that, on that end of the site and, and, and reduce the amount of uh, travel distances you know, from one end of the building to the next. And we're trying to continue to use, uh, we have red brick here on the 55 building, we have a darker brown brick in the 86 edition, and we're blending all those together so there's some cohesiveness you know, from one end to the other. And we're also inter uh, introducing uh, the precast that you see on the 86 building, you're going to see that show up in the new additions as well, again, trying to, to weave things together. And as we move around, get a little bit closer shot of, of here's the, you know, the main entrance into the cafeteria. So just picking up, uh, you know, the daylight that, and, and then we, we have reduced the size of the cafeteria from the last time we met. It, it's still a, a good size space, and so to add some volume in there is going to make it a, a more inviting uh, place as well, and, and it'll help us put some acoustics in there too. We know how loud cafeterias can get. And this is uh, where we're developing the, the bus drop-off area. There's an entrance right here uh, for, for students that are taking the bus to enter into that same cafeteria commons area. And we're introducing a few windows on, on this side to bring in some daylight that deeper into the cafeteria. And those are aligned up with hallways and entrances, so there's, there's some rhyme and reason to that. And then off to the west side of uh, the 1955 building, this is another modification we did from the last time we met. There is a, a valid and, and, and uh, a valid concern on that 55 building. There's no restrooms on those levels. And we're going to, on the second floor, have the ninth grade student body there. We need some restrooms. So uh, how do we provide restrooms in a renovation area and get them online when they need to be online? So what we're proposing here is a, is a, a stack of restrooms that uh, feeds off of every level of, of the 55 building, and that can be done in phase one, so they're online before the restrooms that normally would, would serve the 55 building gets torn down over here. And flipping around <laughs> there we go. Uh, to, the, to the south side, you're seeing uh, the, the end of the, the restroom area here. Uh, this is an existing stair. We have some existing windows and, and uh, metal panels that are on that south side, which may be, as we get further into the project, an alternate to replace those windows and also replace that metal skin so that we have a uh, little bit more cohesive look as you go across the, the building. And then in, as you looking down the street here, uh, this is the library piece, you know, that, that roof of the cafeteria extending off to the south, and it extends past the building line to provide some some shad shading on the south side there. The south light is a good light and it's easy to control if you got enough overhang to, to do that. And that's just looking into the, the, the bigger volume of the library and then these areas over here and over here are the, the lower scale pieces, the, the lab spaces and the workroom spaces. And then on the lower level here, on the first level on the south side, uh, we have the, the fitness room that has a door directly to the outside for, for uh, times when it's open and school isn't open, so you're not walking through the building to get into the, the fitness area and then the equipment in and out. And we also have the uh, uh, Ag classroom is right here where we've got uh, a lot of nice south light there as well to help uh, in that curriculum area and a convenient access from the outside uh, as well for for uh, program requirements there. And then spanning across, here's the pool with the precast uh, around the base. Now you're, you're seeing the, the classroom on the east side. We're picking up that same precast on the shoulders here just to continue that through. Uh, this is a, a stairway right here. Uh, and then this is that link that, that all the students that are in the classroom area are going to go through that to get over to PE, athletics, library, lunch, music, art, all the special areas. So that's, that's going to be a very open open area for uh, as far as daylight and not, 
not a tunnel. Try not to make it a tunnel. And that's just the look of uh, the classroom areas. Daylight was very critical as we met with teachers. And, and we as uh, school designers and planners also know that daylight <coughs> is important to the learning environment. You know, when we talk about high performance learning environment, daylight is one of those areas. So we're, we're in, in incorporating windows in all the classrooms and we're providing some shading devices so that you don't have to have blinds. Is what happens with blinds a lot of times is they're shut and they stay shut. So what's the point of having the window? And then we go underground and come back up. And uh, this is a closer sh shot of, of that spoon uh, <coughs> public schools, precast wall close to the street. And then this is a, an entryway uh, to that end of the building, which is also a secure entrance. You cannot get into the building without going through the, the district office. So the building is secure during the day uh, with two points of, of access that, that you can get into with by checking into the office. Just back to, to bird's eye view. So that's that's uh, that's what we're using to develop this design and, and to communicate to you what you know what it's looking like. And we can come back to this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll jump to the 